right. DGV, of course, doing very well at repeated tournaments for HDR and for ST. Well, he's really one of the, like, say, the three kings right now in the ST world. We've got Dandai, Afro Legends, and DGV. Yeah, and speaking of uh, legends in this tournament, you can see Daigo standing behind Mike Edge right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. We're back on the match. Now, Mikey, watching him play, he's got a very fundamental Ryu, but he just doesn't have that extra little bit of finesse and technology that DGV has. Uh, DGV is a pretty flashy Ryu. He's got a lot of those stand short, low short supers. Well, he'll create a lot of opportunity there within, within the match. Whoops, uh, unsuccessful safe jump. Option select there. Came out with an errant uppercut. And just throwing that super just to get a little bit of momentum. Oh, and he couldn't get over that fireball. I think he was expecting a slow one or something. Gets hit by it, loses a lot of his momentum. He's got a long road to make up for. Oh, not an uppercut. And no, and DGV hits that. DGV really cut that screen in half. He kept Mike, Mike in that corner. He's like, you know, to beat me, you got to come out. Okay, you got to come out and play, and I'm not going to give you any room to do that. DGV has a game plan. We asked DGV what went wrong, and when he loses, he says, I just couldn't execute my game plan. <laughs> And he's got a game plan. This guy has put in the hours and knows how to play his matchups. Mike, though, will not be uh, will not give up, and he'll make DGV earn this. So if you already look now, DGV's got the positional advantage. Yeah, a lot of this fight with Ryu versus Ryu is all dependent on real estate, on how far you are away from the corner. DGV has Mike Edge all the way in the corner. Uh, and Mike thank with you, a few dropped execution there, missed some uppercuts and such, really well. giving DGV that round pretty easily and DGV takes that game. So he is up 1-0 versus Mikeage. Sako. All right, once again, DGV having Mikeage in the corner already. And look at this dominant round here. He's got him trapped in there. Oh, and he baited out the jump. And he's just going to chip him to death with a fireball. Even if it didn't kill him, he would have threw out one more fireball, and that would have been it. And so DGV going up one round after already taking the first game. A little bit robotic. He's got his his, uh, his flow chart here. Oh, nice safe jump. Jump forward there. Mike Edge did not quite get the wake up. Great block. And there's the Mike Watson. Get him to block the cross up and take a few <laughs> steps and throw him. Ice air hurricane to get catch that uppercut. And now DGV going a little uppercut crazy here. Yeah, so he's been known to do that. Oh. He, he's not afraid to take oh. his chances. He's going to live through that. Oh, he should have threw that other fireball faster. Oh, wow. And there what it was. a smart play. He could have just kicked him in the head and did like low roundhouse, which might not have killed him. But instead, he just lands into a super. Knew that that was going to be fast enough to punish him. And that was probably the only way he was going to be able to kill him. And he wanted to watch for any accidental inputs or uh, input error there. So he just went for the simple super right up, right up yep. in the face, point blank. Nice chase down with that uppercut. And a great block again from Mike Edge. He's been blocking most of those cross-ups pretty successfully. Wow, empty jump, uppercut. And the thing is, you can't say Mike Edge is playing poorly. It's just DGV is playing stronger. Right. He's just is playing He's playing the percentages. He's playing the statistics. He's just going right there with that. And DGV once again pushing Mike to the corner. And he's got uh, about twice as much life and a super bar, which is a significant, significant advantage in this game when you're thinking of in, a, in a mirror match. Oh, Mike's just kind of standing there for a moment. Yeah, he's been having some interesting freeze situations here. All right. Tried to fake out another fireball, got over that. Oh, he got, oh, oh he that didn't was just combo an it. You know, when, when sometimes when you're playing something like DGV, it's, your CPU process is just a little bit slower. Right. It's just, the stress is there to really, really, you know, mess you up. And plus an ST, when you hit someone with a jump attack, even a jump fierce or a jump roundhouse, the hit stun is not very long. No, the, it's very short. Hit stun in a ST on a, on a jumping move is uh, dependent upon the height in which you hit the character. Yeah, well, crouching hits are a lot longer reels than standing hits. Correct. And every button causes the same reel length. Yep. Oh, nice. Whiff rocket punch into low forward super, and then a low forward fireball gives it to G DGV. He takes it 3-0 over Mikeage.